I'm here to show you the Baron. This is the very first backpack put out by ROV Gear, um, which is created by Sam Rosen. He basically worked with uh, GWA and designed a spec out a very, very special version as his very first backpack product. And this thing is amazing. So functionally, it is uh, very similar to the uh, GWA crew bag or the micro style bag. Let me uh, just pull one in to compare. So this is the, the Wolf Pack. If you look at these two bags, they're very, very much similar in terms of size and features. And this is a great bag, but the Baron really took it one other level up. Let me show you why. So, so the first thing is, it is the material. So this thing is made with 18 ounce black waxed canvas. And of course, this is very hard to show um, what a wax ca canvas material looks like on camera. I can tell you that it is kind of a dry wax, so it doesn't feel wet at all, like some of the other style of wax canvas. So different people like different styles, there's no right or wrong. I prefer the drier one, so it doesn't feel waxy. There's no residues on your hand um, when you touch it. And according to the spec, you know, with the, the wax onto the, uh, the canvas itself, it is uh, considered to be a 24 ounce uh, finished weight. So it is very, very substantial, which means that it will uh, last a long time, obviously, take on a, you know, can take wear and tear very well. And then it will, of course, develop uh, the patina and, and, and just style that is fit to your own particular bag. Uh, zippers are all YKK number eight. Like any other GWA uh, made bag, the zippers are so smooth. That is just ridiculous and is a joy to use. So the, the format of the bag is, Right, the, the majority of it is this beautiful black wax canvas, but he put ballistic nylon on the bottom. Uh, the bottom is 1040D uh, ballistic nylon, and this is a great choice, right, because you put the bag down a lot, and having a very tough, very tight weave nylon on the bag will just basically make the bottom last longer, and it will not wear through by uh, abrasion, by rubbing against something. And of course, notice this is again standard design, pull tab just to make everything easier to operate. And then there is a full width um, loop field. Obviously, this is the uh, uh, patch from ROV itself, and this is a Dan Mazda uh, tribute to the new NASA uh, astronaut uh, spacesuit design. And of course, it comes with a silencer if you want to put on top but i frankly like this look better the design has this asymmetric sides the i guess the left side depending on which you look at it has three rows of pouch webbing and you can get you know a different kind of pouches that you can put onto here or you can use it just for decorations or you can, a lot of times, I would like to just slot a uh, Sharpie in there to have that easily available. And on the other side is the Tweef stretch material water bottle. This is one of the great functional feature of this bag, or, or, or this class of bag, because this material can really swallow. So this uh, is a 20 ounce Yeti, I believe, and it fits very, very easily in there. Again, very thoughtful design, right, with the pull tab, you can insert that very, very easily when not in use, however, because it's stretchy and it's kind of dark, it doesn't bulk out too much. Back, standard fare, very, very well padded, comfortable shoulder straps, and then this new um, three-piece foam design to keep sweat and uh, off your back and um, have airflow. So uh, this is again important because with a wax canvas material, this is not gonna be good rubbing against your, um, your shirt or whatever on your back. So the foam kind of keeps the back away just a tiny little bit. The two pockets, 
the this pocket, it, you know, they could have used the, the, the stretchy tweed, but they didn't. I think this is good because it just makes the front look so much classier. So the front, while it's not stretchy, it has a little bit of gift because it pushes into the main pocket, uh, the main compartment. Standard design, I'll, I'll show you a close up of it. So let me show you the bottom pocket first. As you can see, it has this orange lining and it is divided on the back into three pockets. I tend to use this space really just as dumb pockets. So right now I don't have anything in here. Often I throw my keys in there. Um, a Shopee office, it fits in there really well. So spacious, uh, good for gloves and you know receipts and whatever. This top pocket, however, I use a lot. I really like this design. It goes down to about here. So it's a shallow pocket, but just large enough for truly EDC items. So again, let me show you a close up here. So let me show you the top uh, admin pocket. This is my uh, favorite pockets, favorite pocket, um, because it is really useful. Right? It is not very deep right on top of the bag, so I can get to it very quickly. The back wall is divided into a third, third, and then the final third has these two pockets. They have a lot of volume to it, so a multi-tool fits in there really well, right? And then I have my alcohol spray, and then my able carry Joey pouch wall that fits in there great as well. So this pocket is just great, still have room for phones and everything else. And this is the little calling card for this bag. So this is the top admin pocket. And then the main compartment, you can open it halfway, stop by the compression strap and just flip it down to get to the inside. Or you can open it up all the way. So I just wanna show you the inside, so let me open it up all the way. These are very substantial buckles and you know a favorite project for people who own this bag is to replace these with Fitlock, which I hopefully will do soon. So let me show you the back wall here, the front wall first. Two pockets. They have a little bit of uh, volume because it's slightly pleated. I tend not to use the top one again because um, it will make the top flap very top heavy. So I would throw lighter items on top as I need it. And the bottom one, usually I have my charging gear. I have my uh, battery pack in here. Hard to show on camera again, but the liner, it's a fire orange cotton material. So again, it is very, very thick. It is a 10 ounce um, cotton material. So much more substantial than uh, your usual interior of the bag. Usually a lot of bags are lined with um, 210D, nylon which is which is perfectly fine but this just makes the whole bag feels substantial um, kind of soft but but tough and then the main compartment the main compartment it, it's very roomy i think the bag is spec to be about 21 liter or so i have random items i have some clothing here book the uh, triple design i think this is a small cube i don't remember the name of the product but this has my um, gopro gear in there for filming and then this is the back wall again two strips of loop material you can hook on different things uh, these are the sandwich bags that made by gwa that fits here obviously very very well i tend this is how i tend to set up uh, these style of bags i have one of these pockets up in front that I can put other things into. And yes, I have a pouch inside the pouch, but that's just how I like to carry my stuff. But it keeps the item close to the top so that when I flip open the, the, the half open uh, clamshell, I can get into this without having to fish for it. And then on the back, there is a suspended um, padded laptop pocket. I put in here a so current generation 2022 2023 16 inch macbook pro just to show that it will fit it just fit in there right i usually carry a 14 inch which uh, fits way easier and smoother inside but a 
16 inch fits in there as well. So again, the way this bag is used, I tend to just have the bag usually not fully open clamshell. Have whatever I have in there, right? Heavy items at the bottom and so forth. And also, because of the roominess of the bag is deceptively roominess, a lot of times I would leave the water bottle in there as well. And then the things tends to hold it, put themselves together and my water bottle stands up anyway. So this is how I sometimes use the bag. If you're not familiar with this bag, the other very, very, very clever design, like these thin but extremely useful side handles. So if you have this bag somewhere on the side, you can quickly get the bag out from an overhead uh, bin or underneath uh, uh, the car or something. So the, the functionally, this bag is extremely well designed, but boy, this um, heavy 18 ounce wax canvas surface is just beautiful. So there we have it, the Baron, the first Baron by ROV here.